Pennsylvania Congress member of the House Foreign Affairs Committee, Scott Perry, joins me. Good evening, sir. And why did it take so long to release this testimony? And what do you see as the significance of his testimony? Well, I'm not sure what might be the holdup, uh, uh, Greta, but the significance, among other things, you talked about who, the, who was staffed at the, at, the, at the consular level, right? Forty people to get all these. You can see on your screen here, probably hundreds, if not thousands of people trying to get out of Afghanistan. They sent 40 of which clearly ill-equipped. Uh, one person was uh, overweight and could not bear the weight of the body order, armor and do their job. Another person, literally, Greta, this is a combat zone, is deaf. If you can't hear gunfire or hear explosions, how can you hear uh, or how can you be safe and how can you safeguard the individuals in your care? But as concerning as that is, what's really concerning to me is the fact that in the testimony, we see that the State Department was handing out SIVs, uh, special immigrant visas, to people that were not vetted to receive them. So essentially, there was no barcode, there was no PIN, there was no identification attached to the person receiving the visa coming to the United States of America. So some people were left behind. Other people who were undeserving, unvetted, came to America. And their plan was to have those people figured out after the fact while they were in America. We have no idea how many, how many of these people came. We don't, know, we don't know how many were sent back. We don't know if any were sent back under these conditions. And of course, we've left a bunch of people that were uh, that were helping the United States in the hands of the Taliban, which is not going to be good for relations, obviously, in the future, because we essentially banded these people to terrorists who want to torture and kill them. All right. Um, all right. In, in investigating what happened is because we hopefully we learn from the mistakes that we've made. Hopefully we never are in a situation like this that we have to do it again. Are you finding that the Biden administration, which was overseeing this evacuation, which I think most people would say was botched, are you finding that the Biden administration at least is helpful in putting transparency on giving you the information, giving you the witnesses so that we can have, you know, a, a transparency in what happened to hopefully learn? Well, I would say this, Greta, I don't, I don't know why we should be thankful to the Biden administration for providing the witnesses that Congress has requested. It's our job to do oversight, and it's their job to give us the witnesses. I know, so but, but they, we, can, they can make it tough. They can make it tough. They can, I mean, they can make it very hard. I mean, this thing can either go you know, smoothly or they can make it tough like pulling teeth. Well, they, and they I can think make they, it tough. If they like, make it like pulling teeth, that's a sign to me. Well... Uh, maybe it should be a sign to you if, if Aronson tells us this and, and they've willingly given us this witness, maybe we should be asking how bad is it really if this is the witness they willingly gave us knowing that he was going to say these things. I mean, uh, you know, hiring people, Greta, the State Department apparently is full of or at least 10 percent of this mission was full of people that uh, belonged nowhere near this mission. So so we, we selected people for, I guess, based on their desires as opposed to the needs of the mission, the needs of the country. That's why you should be selected for these missions, not because you think it might be fun to go to Afghanistan so you can come home and tell all your friends about the great time you had. That's not what the mission's about. And what we're doing is not only jeopardizing lives, lives of our foreign partners, lives of Americans, but our national security. That's not what we do. Uh, and, and that's not the way it should be done. And uh, the question to me is, is if this guy was sent willingly and the State Department obviously knew what he was going to say, how bad is it really? What are the things that they're not telling us? I hope I hope we find out because 13 service members were killed yes. and countless others were killed and people left behind and everything else. Congressman Scott Perry, thank you. And I, and I hope we get a full transparency on all of this. Thank you, sir. So do I, Greta. Great to be with you. Thank you.